Hello and welcome to Tag. I'm Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to show only the active bookmarks buttons in Power BI. It's a real world case and solution in Power BI and many of the people in the groups or community of Power BI have asked about how we can get this result. But in recently I have seen a video about Mike Carlo from Power BI Tips has shown a quick step how we can come out from that. It's really useful video on that. So I thought to make a video about from myself. So here it is. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is my Power BI file. And here, these are the three stages here. And if I click on any of these stages, I have assigned the bookmarks here. If you go here in the bookmark one, it will just redirect to stage one for the bookmark and stage two for the bookmark two and stage three for bookmark three. So I have three buttons here on the top and these are the three text boxes. Just an example, in your case, it can be any visual, like a table or a chart or whatever. Now, the main problem is we don't know in which button it is active here. As we are naming this stage three, stage three, that we know that this is stage three. But instead of this text box, if you have a visual, we may not know where it is actually it is, whether it is on stage one, stage two, or stage three. So at least if you have highlighted the buttons, which is active here, it will be easy for the end user to identify, oh, this is an active button. And this is an active bookmarks here. So initially there was a workaround that instead of three buttons, we can use the six buttons. I mean, uh, one more copy of these three that with the colors, with the background, and we can show and hide with the help of the bookmarks here. That's the one one around and now in this video we will do a workaround that will be helpful with the just using of single button now you have to add a new table go to home and then enter data and then you can create zero number there's one two and three and if you want to define that for your easy understanding you can also use that stage one stage two stage three these are the stages here and here I'm going to name is bookmark table. So we load, now it's there. So now I'm going to use this in a slicer. Select the slicer here, drag and drop here and click on the stages. Let's increase the font size a little bit. Text size. I want this to be 20 and the item fast for 20. Now this looks good. So now this is stage one, stage two and stage three, right? So now let's add a table in order to better understand how it actually works. So in the table, I'm going to use a state as well as the serial number. So it's one, two and three, right? I'm just turning off the totals and even I'm going to increase the size of it. So this also 20. Now if I select anything on the slicer stage one, the serial number, the serial number changed to one and if I select on two, it will just show you the serial number of two and if I select three here, it will show the serial number of three. So we got the value of one, two and three here, right? So now let's select a button here and here go to the formatting of the buttons, selecting here in the visualization pane and in the fill, I just turn on the background and turn on the fill here. Default state is there, right? So that's the default state. You can click on the FS icon here, clicking here, and here I'm going to use the rules here. Rules is based on the bookmark serial number, is sum of if the value is one, if the value is one, then I need this to be this color. We can set a default value of the active button, so I'm going to select this one, gray color. So click OK here. As you can see, the color of the first button is in white because I have selected stage three here. Now if I select stage one, the color changes, right? Simple step. So let's apply the same thing to the stage two, stage three buttons. So clicking on stage two and turn on the fill, turn off the background and change the transparency to zero here and click on the effects. The same thing applies here, clicking on the rules is by bookmark serial number, 
and its value is 2. The number then change the color to this one. Click OK and apply the same logic here to 3. Turn on the background, turn on the fill, change the transparency to 0 and click on FX. Here is the rules and serial number the value is 3 then change the color to this one click ok here now if I select on stage 2 the stage 1 color changes and only active stage 2 and if I change to stage 3 it applies here now you might wonder how you are going to apply it on the bookmark right it's a simple step as well so I'm going to delete this table here for now and then I'm going to select this one right now the colors change here so going on the bookmark and selection pin i want to open it here and minimize the visualization and fields menu now what you can do here is the bookmark one is already there right on top of that i just want to make an enhancement here just clicking on here stage one the color changes right so if you click here bookmark and then I'm going to select all visuals here and update here. It's going to update for all the visuals. Now if I select on stage 2 here. So now let's click on the bookmark 2. So it color changes everything changes here. And only I just want to enable the buttons here. So this is stage 2 here. And then clicking on here and update. So it will update for all the visuals here. If you click on bookmark 3, it's bookmark 3. Let's select this one stage, I mean slicer, and update the bookmark. Alright, now to test it out, let's click on the bookmark 1 on the bookmarks pane. It's just changing the color and it's just showing the visuals as well. I mean, it's just changing the color as well as changing the slicer. Now if you click on bookmark 2, yeah, I'm now clicking on bookmark 3. This works fine. The only issue is you want to hide the slicer as well, right? It's simple, you just can hide this one. As you are on the bookmark 3, you just update the bookmark now. Now, if you go to bookmark 2, same thing, hide it here and update the bookmark. Now, go to bookmark 1, hide the slicer, and then update the bookmark. If you want to know in depth of the bookmark how these are the functions is available here right you can just check out my video on the bookmark specially made for in detail about the bookmark functionality in power bi just click on the link given on top of your screen now coming back here update this one so now going from the last slide so bookmark 3 i'm just clicking here the button color changes and the stage 3 is here and now if I click on bookmark 2, button color changes and stage 2 is here. And if I click on bookmark 1, button color changes and it's here. Now if you want to apply it on the buttons, it's just a simple thing. Let's open up the visualization pane here, select the button. And in the action board, you have to turn on the action menu. And then here on the type, you have to use the bookmark where you can use type of bookmark is bookmark 1 for this one. And for this, Turn on, select the type to bookmark, it's bookmark 2. The same thing here, turn on, select the type to bookmark, and it's bookmark 3. Now let's use this here with the help of control keys. So control click here, stage 2 is coming, the color changes, and here stage 3 is coming, color changes, and here stage 1 is coming, color changes. This is awesome, right? I hope this will save a lot of time while we are working on the bookmarks in Power BI. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button and thanks to my caller about it that he has shown as the tips here. If you want to know more about the Power BI tips, just check out the website or the powerbytips.com. It's an awesome website you can just check out over there. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure to turn on the notification on your devices. And if you're not yet a member of our channel, just hit the join button to know in detail about it, what are the perks which you are offering in the join of being a member. So if you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. 
keep learning see you in the next video